The women's tennis team begins ACC tournament play Friday at 9 a.m. in Cary as the number one seed. Carolina finished the regular season with a 23-4 record and were part of a four-way tie for first place in the ACC with a 12-2 mark. A series of tiebreakers awarded the Tar Heels the top seed. I think that gives us a lot of confidence going into the tournament knowing that we're the top seed and we deserve to be this uh, one seed and I think you know there's a lot of great teams. It just shows like how much we've come this season and even, despite losing to Clemson I think um, we're going to use that as an advantage and rebound from that loss. North Carolina put together a 12 match winning streak during conference play with its only losses coming to Duke and at Clemson. The Tar Heels will face the winner of Florida State and Syracuse on Friday. Carolina beat both teams with a 7-0 score earlier this spring. FSU, uh, they have a very good number one team, doubles, and they changed their two and three doubles up. And Syracuse, we lost the number three doubles and number, number two doubles, we had to win a tiebreaker. So doubles is going to be in, a very important match. You know, we're excited whether we play Florida State or, or Syracuse. I know it's going to be a, a good challenge for us to kind of start, uh, start the tournament. If they were to advance, a possible rematch with either Duke or Clemson awaits the Tar Heels in the semifinal round on Saturday. Clemson topped Carolina in a hard-fought 4-3 match last weekend. Right after we lost to Clemson, we, the first thing we said, we're going to get them in ACCs. And even, like, even Duke, we lost to them twice, and we definitely don't want to lose to them again. So I think we first have to take FSU or Syracuse seriously and then hopefully play the winner of Duke. Clemson and get a chance to get some revenge. Obviously just played Clemson and uh, I mean it was a really hard fought match and I thought they played extremely well and deserved everything they got uh, and had an amazing weekend. Duke we've lost to them twice and uh, haven't played our best tennis against Duke. I think we're a different team now and hopefully we can show how much we've improved in a week's time and also in almost over a month and a half's time. The Tar Heels are led at the top of the lineup by ACC Player of the Year Jamie Loeb and ACC Freshman of the Year Haley Carter. Loeb has set the school record for wins this year with an incredible 45-2 singles record, including a perfect 14-0 mark in the ACC. The ACC has a lot of top, uh, top players, so I don't know. I'm proud of what I've done and I hope to continue that, but I think that's a very good accomplishment. When we're practicing individually or as a team, she's, she's there mentally and physically. She is a workhorse. She doesn't let um, rankings or pressure you know, affect the way she's going to execute. She lets her execution and her mindset uh, dictate how she's going to be successful that day. You can sense it on the court. I mean, she's intense and she's, she's fired up. and and uh, she doesn't really get down very often or, or for too long. So it's just, I think uh, the rest of our team uh, can kind of learn a lot from, from her leadership at the top of the lineup.